Let's get good. We are back with Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. This is Goods Dragoon Guard playthrough, and we are going to find some multi mission contracts now. I believe that there should be one nearby our location. Whoops, wrong thing there. Gonna go check our battle mechs as well. Wanna make sure that everybody is nice and repaired if we're gonna head into a multi mission. Uh, let's see if we can find one that is for the right faction, though. So we know there's one right here, but it is for House Davian against House Liao, and that's actually contrary to what we're trying to do. I'd like to do more to build up our reputation with House Liao. This one looks like it might be a little bit more promising. That is a Rep 8 area, though, which is kind of terrifying, because we may not actually have the mech capacity to handle a Rep 8 version of those. However, Capella here also has two times multi-mission operations, and according to what I've been told by people in the comments, we actually get more rewards from those. So I think what we'll do is we'll try to bounce over here to Capella and do that one. The only issue I have beyond that is that, like, we need to potentially repair one more mech just to have one on backup, so to speak. That being said, so far, every time we travel... Wait, are we all the way up here? Okay. Capella is... where? We just saw Capella. And not, okay, it's right here. It's right here. Losing myself on the star map. Nothing new here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bounce through some systems on the way there and hope that we can maybe do some repairs. But as we've seen in the past, there doesn't seem to be any guarantee of that. So we're going to travel here, set our course and go. Uh, we tried to look for repair zones outside of the industrial zones, and we basically just ended up jumping through a bunch of systems and not finding a single repair bay. So I'm still not 100% sold on this idea that you can repair in non-industrial zones and non-war zones. It seems like war zones and industrial zones are the only places you can really repair. Uh, we are in New Sagan, which is a conflict zone, so let's go to the star map here. Interesting. This is listed as a conflict zone, even though we're outside of actual war zones. Uh, can we go make repairs here? And if so, how much will they cost? Let's see, can we... There's no mech bay here. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, every time somebody's like, oh yeah, you can repair outside of industrial zones, like, we go to new systems and it's like, no, you can't. No, you can't. Uh, let's go over to Randar here and see if we can repair there. We're just going to kind of hit a couple systems on the way over to our destination, mainly just to see if that's a thing. Honestly, if we don't find anywhere we can repair in these next couple jumps, I'm just going to assume that you can only repair inside of active war zones and at industrial zones, because that seems to be the case so far. Okay, we are in Randar. It is technically a conflict zone. You are in a system that doesn't have sufficient resources to refit a mech. Okay. So, once again, getting the feeling that that's basically everywhere except for industrial hubs and war zones. So what we're going to do is just go to Capella from here. There's no point in us wasting another, like, 13 days jumping to no return here, which likely does not have the capacity to repair anything. And if we click around on some of these systems, like, you can see we don't get any indication that they have any sort of facilities at all. Versus if we go to an industrial hub, you actually do get a message that says that there's an industrial hub, etc, etc, etc. Okay. Makes sense. We're going to go to Capella here. Jump! Honestly, I just want to avoid another payday, because that's that's a big deal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Merrick Liao discovered. What is that? Did we find a new war zone? If so, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, Merrick is an interesting house that I wouldn't mind working for as well, but right now we are looking at working with Liao. Hello, multi-mission operations galore here. We've got a two-mission operation and a three-mission operation. Demolition, demolition, defense. That's actually a really nice mission combination. This is raid assassination. Both of these are missions where we can kind of cheese some of them. So I think what we're going to do is we'll just start with this one and move down from there. Although I do want to see how much salvage we can... Oh my. Y'all see how much salvage we can get on this? I mean, obviously 24 seems like a little bit of overkill, but maybe we go with 18 here? I think 18 is probably fine. This is a raid and assassination mission in a difficulty 8 system. Let me go for max C bills there as well. Actually, we're going to put a little bit into repairs too. That seems pretty good right there. 
That seems very, very good, especially with those salvage shares. Because we're friendly with Liao now, we can actually get a decent number of salvage shares. This should ensure that we basically are able to take home any mech that we encounter. It is a 230 ton limit here. Now this first mission is a raid mission, so we do not need O oh, when our Jaeger's hurting. Okay, I forgot that the Jaeger is still in need of some minor repairs because I made a misclick. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Jaeger's loadout here. We're gonna take these off. It's probably gonna be rather expensive to make these repairs in the war zone, but we do have a good reputation with this particular faction, so I'm hoping that that actually reduces the cost a little bit. AC5 burst fire, and then a tier 2 machine gun, sure. Perfect. Okay, that should be all we needed, yeah. Let's go ahead and start the work. It's only gonna be 6k. 6k, 12 days, that's fine. Okay, back to our contract. We actually need that Jaeger mech because it does give us 65 tons. It's the heaviest mech that we have. Uh, okay, everything else seems fine. We are in the Missile Hunchback here. This is a raid mission. I feel like perhaps we'd be better off in something a little bit lighter. Even though it's a, a heavy tonnage mission, I still think we would actually get more value out of something perhaps like a Phoenix Hawk here that has machine guns so that we can focus on those. It's also got a large laser, which isn't bad for focusing on the targets at long range. Uh, we have the... well, that's actually not bad for focusing on targets at long range either. The crab is actually really nice as well, just because of the range on the large lasers. I mean, honestly, I could go with almost anything in our mech bay here for what this mission is. I think perhaps we'll go with... Phoenix Hawk's got 97 kilometers per hour. I think we'll do the Phoenix Hawk here. That is going to put us slightly under tonnage to what we would expect to be for this mission, but I'm kind of okay with that. We'll wait the 12 days and then start the mission. This should be fine, honestly. I'm bringing everybody along, but raid missions, as we've seen in the past, they're very much just hit a target and go. No, Siri, you try again. You try again, Siri. <laughs> My fiance always leaves her, her iPad open on the desk behind me, and for whatever reason, whatever I'm saying triggers Siri, and then Siri tries to help me. One day, Siri searched AC-20s for us. That was cool. Okay, haven't taken the Phoenix Hawk out in a while. This should be fun. Let's go. Wow, that's a lot of different sites. Okay. A lot of different sites that we could potentially hit here. I do want to look at our battle map to start so we can kind of come up with a plan of attack. I think maybe we just go around the outside circuit here and just sort of like, you know, work in a spiral almost. I think that's probably our best bet here. So we're going to move up this way and head towards this first site at 1200 meters in front of us. Ooh, there's something over here. Is that a tank or just a... well, it was a turret. It's gone now. Okay, up here we have something in sight, another turret, it's also gone now. I'm just going to clear these little turrets and things as we move forward. Uh, the reality is they're probably not going to make that much impact one way or another. I'm much more concerned about tanks and air support. Air support has been extremely problematic as of late. We definitely want to make sure we take that out. And then up here this looks like a tank potentially. Just gonna start unloading into it, even if we can't get a good line of sight on it for the moment. Okay, that's gone. Mainly just killing these things on the way in. See, that... That is a problem. You gotta go. Please tell me you guys got that. Kill that thing. Good. Good, it's gone. Air support is extremely problematic these last couple of missions. Okay, we do have a target in sight. Raid target is on scope. And we do have these nice machine guns on our Phoenix Hawk here that'll let us kind of finish that off relatively quickly. But we're getting stuck on a little bit of city. There's a little bit of city in our toes right now. Gotta kind of move through here quickly. We don't really want to stay and fight for any prolonged time. We just want to move on to the next target. Okay. Next target, here we come. So we're wrapping around to the very next site, which is at about a thousand meters right now. We should close in on that relatively quickly here. Got some tanks on our side here. Bye. Nice little alpha there to just take them off the field. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoever's firing 
Big shots can stop now. Ow. Ow. That was a center torso shot that hurt a lot. Okay. Got some air support here. Got some more air support up here. Come on, guys. Take this out. Oh. Just die. Just die, air support, please. Okay, there are two targets on this site. So we're gonna try to wrap around and get those. They're on the other side of this mountain, it would seem. Oof. All right. Not taking too much damage here, but we're not... We're not going sort of damage-free either. Let's get in here and get these targets. Okay, targets are gone. Moving on to the next site. We're not hanging around. The upside is if our Phoenix Hawk takes damage here, it's also not the end of the world. Okay, that thing's gone. We probably won't need the Phoenix Hawk for future missions, so it's okay. <clears throat> okay. Because we're not going to take the Phoenix Hawk on an assassination mission. That just seems sort of unnecessary. Oh boy. Hello there. Wrong side to shield with. Want to be shielding with our left here because we've taken less damage on it. And now we just want to move in and take out these targets as quickly and effectively as we possibly can. Looks to be one down right there. Got one more over here. I'm not sure how many more targets we'll have after this. That is becoming more of an issue as we reach these higher difficulty missions. Okay. One more sight, it looks like. Oof. Aerial support is down. Our right side torso is very bad off. It is heavily thrashed here. How are our allies doing? Hedrick took some damage. Of course, she's in the Jaeger. The Jaeger is kind of fragile with the arms being sort of an exposed, vulnerable spot that can basically take a lot of damage really quickly. No way for us to get up on this hillside yet. We need to find a way up around this hill. No, I don't need night vision. I need a way up. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. We're in kind of a long stretch that's not going to allow us to really crest that mountain. And there is something shooting into us from behind. We need to get kind of out of line of sight from that. Good job. Good job, Talbot. You do your Talbot-y things. Wow, come on. Can I get up this hill here? I can. What is hitting me from behind that's doing so much damage? There's like a tank down there. That's what's hitting us. It's a tank of some sort. And I know I'm exposing my right side here. Oh, come on. I'm honestly trying to use the jump jet here to cheese up this hill a little bit. That wasn't very effective, though. We basically got stuck on a rock, which is super awesome. I guess I could have just used this. This view would have made it easier. Talbot is, is hurting right now, which is not good. Uh, let's see if perhaps we can... Oh, could you? <laughs> That's not surprising. Uh, let's see. Can we find a way up here quicker? Oh, this is so rough. I wish I had more jump jets on this mech. It's rare that you hear somebody say that in this game, I think. But it's definitely a situation for us right now. God, can you guys help Talbot out, please? Somebody help Talbot. Talbot is hurting. I suspect we're going to take significant losses in this mission here. Yes, I'm aware the jump jet fuel is low. Can... Really? Come... Are you kidding me right now? There we go. There we go. Okay, we have crested the heel... The heel... The hill. Now we can kind of move in and hopefully go after the remaining targets... Before Talbot gets destroyed. We've got four targets on scope. We take them out. We're done here. So that is the goal right now, is just to take these targets down. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're gonna be the only ones here, so we're not getting any help with that air support. Which is okay. I mean, in some regard, that's not a big deal, because we don't want to fight with the air support. We just want to take the targets down and go. And honestly, at this point, I'm just unloading with machine guns to clear stuff out of my way as I move. Oh, goody. There's a medium mech up here. We're taking a lot of damage. Right arm is at risk here. Gonna scope in, see if we can see our targets here and just go after them from some range. Because at this point, that's just ideal here. We, we just want these things gone. One of them is down, next target is on scope. Still being pursued by the AC-20 air support, I believe. 
Okay, objective is gone. We did lose our right arm, though. Time to head to extract. Let's go. 700 meters. 700 meters to extract. We're going. We're not hanging around. We did lose some weapons here. Nothing to be done about it. Oh my gosh, that hillside killed us. That hillside killed us. It was really bad planning on my part not to account for that. But it looks like we might make it out of here with everybody alive, which is all I'm asking for at this point. And also, air support is garbage and I hate it. Oh my god. They're like behind me. I can hear the AC-10 or AC-20, whatever. They're AC-10s. They're not AC-20s. We would have lost a lot more parts. Uh, I can hear the AC-10s hitting the ground next to us and it's just like, ah. Yeah, we probably took significant damage there. However, there is the possibility that some of our allies killed some mechs, so we might get to bring some mechs home too, we'll see. No. No, of course not. We have 18 salvage shares, no mechs. Uh, I'll take the AC-5 burst fires here. They will probably be good replacements for the Jaeger mech that likely lost one. Take an AC-10. Hmm, PPC's here. Yeah, I think a PPC is a good pick. Another AC-5 burst fire. We could just pick for value here, but once again, it's not always about value. Sometimes it's what can I get that'll mean I don't have to buy replacements. Uh, so in that case, we'll probably take these anyway because we only have four of each of those. And then... Oops, we're over there. Is that it? That's it. Okay, fine. So we ended up taking mostly from the top of the list. The only thing I took an extra of was the AC-5 burst fire. And that's mainly because we end up losing a lot of those on the Jaeger mech. Oh my gosh, Talbot took so much damage. Well, we made 300k off of that mission. We will continue, though. We will continue. Oh, the Jaegers hurt pretty badly here. Um, Alright. This next one is an assassination. And we are basically running low on mechs that are going to be solid for this, but we'll have to make that work. We do have... Eh, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. I'm going to take this Hunchy. I'm going to give Talbot this Hunchy. Freeman, you're going to go out in the Shadowhawk. And then, Hedrick, you've got the Crab. Actually, you know what? You've got the Crab. You've got the Shadowhawk. So we're a little under tonnage here, but we do... I still haven't painted that Hunchy. Uh, but we do have a couple of Hunchbacks here, which makes me feel good, because I'm pretty sure those are going to do their job just fine. We do, once again, need to watch out for the air support, though. The air support is going to be the biggest thing here, and I strongly suspect we'll have to go repair before we do that other multi-mission. Unless the repairs here aren't too bad, which is possible, because, like, we are friendly with them now. Locate and kill the targets. Suspected locations are marked. We could get really, really lucky here and find all the targets in the first sight, too, but I doubt that. Based on the luck we've had lately, I strongly doubt that. What we will do here, though, guaranteedly, is we will kill a mech and potentially take it home. So that's, that's something I'm excited about. Okay, so four is my alpha strike. Where are the targets? Uh, we're gonna go towards the top target there, the northmost target. The reason for that is that it's by a city. Typically, on assassination missions, we've found that cities tend to hold... Wow, fire being exchanged already. It seems by the leopard and something else. Well, it was exchanging fire. Now it's just ash. Uh, anyways, we're moving up this way because typically we find that cities... Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't, air support. We see you. We had enough of you already. Enough of you already. What was that? <laughs> Did the whole screen just flash bright yellow from the explosion from that one little helicopter? Uh, anyways, this is... I, I made a mistake here. We probably shouldn't be moving through a ravine like this, but we're moving towards this city because typically assassination targets we find towards the larger city areas of the map. Which makes sense. I mean, you're looking for the VIP of the area. They're probably going to be towards the city, even though realistically they could hide off in the middle of nowhere like that too. Okay, let's go. Hopefully we get lucky here, we find all the targets at the first sight, and we just get in, get out, go home. Bye! No air support. We hate air support. Air support is the devil. Got a turret up here, we're gonna take that out to make sure we reduce damage moving in. Got a tank up here. Come on, fire! Alright, tank's down. Maybe gotta watch our heat, but I kinda doubt it. Oh, we're not close enough to take that out. We're going to use this hillside for cover here as we move in on that. 
Uh, the target is not actually in the city anyway. Form on me, guys. Come on. Oh, good. Okay, we're gonna go check the other location then. We don't need to stay here and fight. Form on me, guys. Come on. Come on. Form on me. We're going. I am watching that UAC air support. Oh, come on. Arm locks got me there. Thought I was on target. I was not because of arm locks. Weak sauce. Okay, let's go, guys. Keep up. Does look like we've maybe got some more air support in our backfield. Okay, they're taking care of it. They're taking care of it. Good job, guys. Good job. You take care of that air support. Make it a non-issue for us. Uh, seems to be a light mech on our back as well. You know what? It's cool. It's cool. I'm going to let them take care of it. They're fine. They can handle this. Oh, boy. That's a lot of air support. And there's not a lot of cover coming in. Uh, let's... Get the air support, guys. Come on. Oh, we're not in range to hit it. That's unfortunate. That one's down. Oh, good. They're both down. Good. All the air support gone. That's what I wanted. No air support ever. Oh, that is a PPC tank. Did you guys see that? That would have been ugly if he would have actually hit someone. Everybody get that spider. Okay, you guys get the spider. I'm gonna keep moving. Oh, oh, that's a problem. Get that air support, folks. Get it. Ah, oh, I can't hit it because I don't have weapons that are actually able to arc that high. Okay, so my right side has some arm weapons on it. Good to know. Good to know. Or my right mouse button has some arm weapons on it. Come on, guys. Clean it up here. The target is not even here. Just clean it up and let's keep moving. Oh, wait. The target is here. Where did he come from? All right, so we just missed a Wolverine that was behind us, apparently. Everybody on target. Trying to take his arm off real quick. I am definitely leaning with the wrong side. Okay, that should have done some significant damage, though. Oh, oh, friendly fire. I may have just hit someone. Trying to take the Wolverine's legs off so that we don't core it. Got our target. Nicely done. We might have just cored him there. That would have been really sad, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's our extract? 700 meters this way. All right, come on, folks. Form up. What is this? This is an Irby. Ow! Whoa! I just lost my whole right torso. What in the heck even hit me? Oh, it's the Irby! The Irby's got a burst fire on him! Oh my. Okay. That was not what I was expecting. Not at all. We have got to get out of here, guys. We're hurting pretty bad. And where's our extract? Our extract is in this canyon, so we're going to want to come over this way. Oh, that's so garbage. I lost my whole right torso. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure that, like... Actually, I think I hit a bunch of our heat sinks in the right torso. This could be really bad. Or I hit them in the leg. I think I put the double in the leg, which is the only one I'm really concerned about. However, if we get to take that Wolverine home, that'll be enough for me right there. Oh, well, we're out. We're out. That assassination mission didn't go ideally either, but hopefully we at least get to take home a mech so we can sell it. Wow. Rough couple of missions there. Hopefully at least we get some decent paydays though and get to take some mechs home. 
That, that Irby just shocked me. Are you serious? Not a single mech. Not a single mech with as much salvage as we had. Not a single one. That's not at all frustrating and disappointing. Why do we only have 15 salvage on this one? We were supposed to have 18 or something, right? Like, what happened there? Okay. Youch. Yeah, we made almost nothing on that mission. Yeah, we have a lot of money, but we have a lot of repairs to do, too. Although, you have to wonder if the repair values it shows are the repair values to repair in the war zone. So, like, if we repair here right now, 50% longer and they... Or 50% more and they take 90% longer. So... Probably not worth... Based on those missions, not worth repairing here. Better to go over to this industrial hub here, which is fine. Pay 100k and spend 20 days. We'll probably save more money by spending that time plus those days to just hop out there and repair real quick. Which is fine. We'll do that. We'll come back to Capella. We'll try another multi-mission. That'll probably be next episode, though, based on the time that we're at. That being said, uh, not necessarily the most lucrative missions we've done. I could be wrong about that, though. I mean, we'll see once we get all of our repairs and things handled. Ugh. Youch. So many medium laser tier 2s. But we did protect all of our heat sinks. Which is weird, because all of our heat sinks are in the side of the torso that I shield with, which is a really bad idea. I'm actually going to try to... No, I can't put that down there. Okay, so the double heat sinks have to be on something that can potentially be blown up. I guess putting them on this side is good, though, because the enemies aren't going to target that side. They're going to target the side with all the weapons. So it makes sense to some degree, but yeah, we just lost a ridiculous amount of medium lasers uh, and four heat sinks. The heat sinks, whatever. We have tons of heat sinks. Let's go one, two, three, and four. The medium lasers are a little bit more significant of a loss because we don't have any more tier twos left. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need to do this. I'm doing this the wrong way. There we go. That's a lot faster. Okay. Repair all. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. We'll be fine. We lost some tier 2 medium lasers there, which is really unfortunate, but it'll be okay. Got another hunchy here that is in need of repairs. What did you lose? Basically nothing. You're awesome. We love you. Okay. Repairs there. Got our Shadowhawk here that just needs to be repaired, it seems. Or did they actually lose a part? No, they just need to be repaired. Okay, so just repair that up. Crab here, they lost a large laser. That's painful, but uh, we will just replace that. We only have a tier 0 large laser. Is there a tier 1 on here that we can buy? And if so, how much is it? 160k? That's probably worth. That's probably worth. I've heard really good things about using PPCs for the the more long-range shots. What do, you, what do you guys think about that? I'd love to hear your opinions. Like, I always struggle with them because with the lasers, you get that line to sort of drag over stuff. So because I'm a bad sniper, it actually helps me a lot. But I'm wondering if it may just be more efficient to become better at sniping and just go for, like, an actual PPC here. Uh, no. We're not going to go buy a Tier 2 large laser. That's just not a thing. We will, however, put a Tier 1 medium laser and not a Tier 3 machine gun. Just not worth. Repair all there. Max range is down slightly. That's probably because we're no longer using a Tier 2 large laser. Nothing we can do about that, because we're not going to go buy one. Uh, lost a little bit of firepower here on the Centurion. That little bit of firepower being made up by the AC-10 here. Not too bad, honestly. We'll just replace it with another AC-10. Repair it up. All good. What I'm curious about is how many C-Bills we'll have when this is all done. That's, that's what really matters at the end of the day. Like, it's hard to track the finances in this game because of the way they work. But it's how many C-Bills are remaining when we're all done, and I keep forgetting to just right-click to put stuff on there. I am not putting a Tier 3 machine... Well... Wait, this is the Jaeger, right? Heck no. We put a Tier 3 machine gun on there, we're just gonna lose it. I'll, I'll go buy some Tier 1 machine guns, hopefully they are Tier 0. Oh crap, I just bought a medium laser. That was not my intention, whatever. It'll be fine. Machine gun there. That'll affect our bottom line, though, so that's me obfuscating whether or not we actually made money. Don't mind me. Uh, okay. So, right now, we still have to repair this. Right now, we're looking a little bit 
more well off than we started. I think we started at 3.2 million, so we gained about 600k from that. Obviously, we got some parts that we didn't sell, so that doesn't exactly account for our gains. Uh, however, the other thing to consider is that, like, yeah, we we didn't really come up too much from those missions. Maybe 600k. It's not like anything terrible, but it's also not anything great. Uh, let's look at maybe some heavier mechs, though. I think perhaps one of the problems is that we should be in something a little bit heavier here. Ooh, this Orion looks nice. What do you got there, Orion? You got a Lerm 15, some Serm 4s, an AC-10, and a couple of medium lasers. So that's actually a really nice, solid loadout. It does look like the weapons are well spread across the body, so you're not going to lose a whole, like, set of weapons if you lose one side kind of thing. There's also a trebuchet here. Got some nice, uh, that. Got some nice missiles, got some lasers. Eh, it's alright. I want to see the Battlemaster here. This thing looks vicious. This is the heaviest mech that we've discovered so far. 85 tons, we've got machine guns on it, we've got a bunch of lasers, a PPC, and a CIRM-6. So this is sort of an arsenal mech. It's got a whole bunch of everything going on. Now the real question is... What is the speed? First of all, 65 kilometers per hour. That's not very fast at all. Like, it's a, it's a slow and steady mech that's got a lot of different firepower here. Not necessarily a ton of range, though, if you look at it. Like, we've got a lot of medium lasers and a CIRM, but we've only got PPC for long-range shooting in this. Which isn't terrible, but with those AC air supports, we kind of want to be able to take things out from a further distance. Which makes me feel like this Orion is actually a little bit more up the, the alley of what we're looking for. However, before we buy that, I do want to make sure there's no hero mechs floating around, because we may want to go pick those up instead. There is a rare mech at Kurrigan we could fly over and check out. Maybe we do that. It's only 50k. Uh, in 8 days, though, we do do a 300,000 C-Build payout. Question is, could we reach that? No. At that point, since we can't reach uh, Capella again without expending roughly the same amount of time, we'll just go over here to Kurrigan. We'll make the payday. That's fine. Uh, once that payday is done, though, we will go ahead and see what this rare mech is on the market. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be an Atlas. Wouldn't that be cool? I think we'd be pretty set if we got us an Atlas or even... I don't know if they're in this game. or Cyclops is in this game? That would be kind of nice, too. Oh, hello, Catapult. So we got a couple catapults here. Catapults are, are an interesting... And there's a Cyclops. I asked and I received, guys. See, that's how it works. Ask and ye shall receive. 10 million C-bills, though, to pick this bad boy up. Oh, but look at that. Lerm 10s, a Serm 4, bunch of medium lasers, and look at the armor. This thing is just invincible, basically. I'm actually surprised by the weapon loadout on it, though. I mean, Lerm 10s are great and everything, but I would have expected a large laser in here somewhere. Interesting. Very interesting. These mechs are, like, ridiculously tanky. I don't think if we sold every mech that we had in cold storage, though, that we could actually, like, get to this. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's see, though. We can, we can definitely check. Cold storage mechs, where are you? There we go. Okay, so... The Enforcer, if we sold it, would give us 1.3... Uh, the Jenner, I actually don't really want to sell the Jenner. The Spider, I'm fine with selling. Yeah, we're, we're not getting to the 10 mil for this mech. Pretty much no matter what. Like, we would have to sell the majority of mechs that we have to get this Cyclops. But I kind of want it, guys. I really do. Uh, you know what? We're out of time anyway. I'll tell you what. You guys tell me in the comments. Should we sell a bunch of mechs and pick up the Cyclops? Should we dump a ton of C-Bills into investing in this big bad boy? What do you guys... What do you guys think we should do? It does have a 65 kilometer speed, so it's roughly the same speed as the Battlemaster. But look at the armor on that. It's basically the maximum. You can't have more armor than that, for the most part. Ooh. I actually really like this catapult right here as well. Couple different mechs we could pick up here. There's another Hunchback 4J. Not really interested in having the same Hunchback model twice. Uh, we got a Centurion AH here, which is a very interesting Centurion. AC-20 Centurion, that could be really nice, actually. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and remember, Mech Warriors, until next time, information is ammunition. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to go ahead and give us a like or subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. Bye!